Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my last video, my last Q and A. And if you actually watch that video, you would know that I'm gonna post it. So today I'll be doing a life at home state video. I also have some questions that people ask about home state and stuff, and I'm just gonna basically tell my experience. If you don't know, I go to the Penn State Sheriff Training Center, and I occasionally go up to the main campus, you know, for events. Stay cool, get it like, yeah, get it. Yeah, get it to it. Get it to it. So, yeah. Um. So yeah, we're just gonna get into this video and I'm just gonna, you know, explain everything that goes into me going to Penn State Harrisburg and what's gonna happen because I am doing a super speech, okay? okay? So what are your thoughts when you first got to Penn State? So like I said again, I do go to Penn State Harrisburg. So my thoughts when I first got there was like, damn, like, I'm on my own college me, college me. It's me, I'm in college now. So like I said in my previous videos, I have um, an apartment style dorm. Most of the dorms on Penn State Harrisburg campus is like, yeah, like an apartment style layout. If you get what I mean, like there's four bedrooms. Um, I have my own room. I share bathroom with one of my roommates and the other two roommates share bathroom. We have a living area and a kitchen area. We just don't have a stove or a fridge. So um, yeah. I'm gonna include a picture of how it looks. So yeah, so my first thoughts were like, yeah, the school's pretty small, but it's really pretty, you know? It was a, it's a nice school, it looks nice. Yeah, we're definitely more into it, yeah. So what are the staff like? I feel like the staff, I mean, as a freshman, I haven't really spoken to much of a, uh, I haven't really spoken to our professors that much, honestly. I don't really speak to them as often, but, I feel like, like, I feel like the staff is pretty good. Like, I have no complaints to them. There is some teachers that are not the best teachers, but, like, well, professors, but all in all, Penn State is a neighborhood school, so the staff is okay. Like, the staff is pretty good. What are the students like? So, because it is a PWI, if you don't know PWI, it's a predominantly white institution. And that's what Penn State is. So there's more white people at that school than black. But on Penn State Harrisburg campus, there's a huge community. Of, well, okay, not not the cat to say it's a huge, but it's a big community of black people. Like you're going to see black people. It's not like what you would expect. Like it's not a school where you would not see any black people, even at Lane. There's like not to say that it's segregated, but like Selgate, there's the black tellers, the white tellers, you know, it's like you if you go to Penn State as a um, black person or a person of color, you will find, you know, people like you there. It's not it is a predominantly white institution. There is way more white people, but there is still a huge community of black people at Penn State. So is college like how the movies depict it? Um yeah, I was not completely obviously, but because I feel like movies don't show like the bad in college, like the down, not the down times, but the times that you are down at college and sad and broke and depressed. I feel like movies don't really show all of that, but for the most part, uh, the parties do look like how it looks like in movies. You know, it's pretty fun. Um, yeah, I feel like college is. Kind of like it was depicted like that on movies, but then again, you know. But another question is if there is one thing that you could change and add to the school, what would it be? The only thing that I would change, obviously, I cannot change it, but it would be freaking location. It's way too cold in Pennsylvania. I'm from Philly, so I live in PA, so Philly is cold, but like I don't want to be in like the cold 24 7, like main campus gets deadly cold like it's super cold up there and then Penn State Harrisburg gets really cold too so like that would be the most that I would change from that okay so a question is how to pick the right college friends 
So I had like a little issue with some girls that I was friends with, but I feel as though that's low key a life experience, you know, falling out with people. I do feel like that's a life experience. So I can't really say you're going to find like how to find the right college friends, but you just, you know, you vibe with people. So basically, you know, just put yourself out there. That's how you can really find friends. You know, don't like even before you go to school, like, Let's say if you're a senior, you're about to graduate, and you're you have already um decided on what school you're gonna go to. You can like go on the usually they have Facebook pages for your um class year or whatever. But yeah, I feel like you should like reach out to people you know. That's how I made a couple friends that I have now. But then there's other ways you can make friends. Like you can make friends at parties. You can make friends anywhere in classes. So for like there's it's I feel like it's inevitable for you to make friends in college. But I can't really explain to you how to choose the right friend. It's just gonna happen, honestly. Yeah. The question that I got was are the classes hard and like how's the education basically? And if you don't know, like Penn State is one of the best schools in PA. I'm not surprised by that. So the classes I'm not gonna cap. The classes are not that easy. I feel like the gen ed classes are easier, but when it comes down to your actual major or like the core science classes or the core math classes, it does get hard. And Penn State is known for its engineering, you know, stuff. So yeah, I feel like it gets harder when it comes to the sciences and the maths and all that. Those are all the questions that I got for the video, but I'm gonna, you know, answer not answered, but I'm going to basically talk about more. So, as I said before, I'm doing a two plus two program at Penn State, Harrisburg. That's the campus that I'll be starting at, and the campus that I'll be coming to is at University Park, the main campus, and that's, you know, most people do the two plus two program, so it'll be easier to get into Maine. So, I personally did not get accepted to main campus. So, I got into the Penn State Harrisburg. So the way the application process goes, you put in two of your main top places for any of the Penn State campuses. So there is 20 Penn State campuses around PA, and you just basically put in your top two choices, and they, not that they choose it for you, but they choose it for you. So yeah, I go to Penn State Harrisburg. And yeah, I don't necessarily, like sometimes I do, hate Penn State Harrisburg because it's so small like it's like really small like the people but like the problem that I have with Penn State Harrisburg is the fact that I see the same people every single day like that is ass like I don't feel like seeing the same type of people all day like this is that I would like to see more people at me you are gonna see people that you've never seen before like it's huge Main campus has like 50,000 people, and my campus only has five, I think. So that's a huge, huge difference between the campus life. So if you want to go to a bigger campus, I would say to go to Penn State Maine, but it is, Penn State University Park is more expensive, like way, way more expensive. That's why most people do do the two plus two. Or they do the two plus two because they didn't get get into me. So yeah. So those are the two like options that you have. So yeah, if you, I feel like if you are, cannot survive at a smaller school, you will not like Penn State Harrisburg. Like there's like most of the time, I really count. I'm really counting down the days until I can get in. Like Penn State Harrisburg is more fun when it's I feel like warmer outside. But it's still nothing compared to main campus. Like main campus is where that's where the best parties are. The best people are too. You know, it's just a different vibe than Penn State Harrisburg. So I mean I wanna say I hate Penn State Harrisburg, especially now during quarantine, I fucking love I wish it was there. But like for the most part I feel like Penn State Harrisburg is an old state school. The only thing that's keeping me pushing is the fact that I'll be going to Maine campus in 2021. 
That's the only thing that's really keeping me going. Fall 2021, I'll be up. Period. That's what's keeping me going, basically. I want to say, I just love being on campus, whether it's Snowden or Cal State Harrisburg. I just love living on my own and, you know, feeling independent, doing my own thing when it comes to college. So that's why I'm so happy that I got, that I was able to live on campus. I do feel like the, um, the experience is different if you live on campus or if you do, like, I genuinely don't feel like the same. Like, you would not get the same experience living on campus if you do on campus, if that makes sense. Like, on campus life is amazing. Like, you could, like it's, it, you don't have to wake up early to go to, like, as early to go to class because you're not traveling. Literally, you just have to walk to class. And your friends are right there. You know, it's not, the only thing is, I guess you would miss home, but, like, College is fun. I love college. I love being at college. I love, I just love college. So, yeah, I love Penn State. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do, but I love it. The school that I could have went to, like, I mean, obviously there's other schools that I could have went to, but, like, I genuinely love Penn State, and I'm proud to say that I go to Penn State. So you guys, that's the end of this video. I hope I answered the majority of the questions that people would have about Penn State. And I'm just basically giving you my insight on Penn State and how I love this school so much. And yeah. So like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below more questions if you have or anything like that. And comment down below. Also comment down below video suggestions that you would like me to do. So, bye. See you guys in the next one.